Guys, what if I told you that you could move to the UK and earn an average of £23,000 per annum without giving the IELTS, without actually worrying about anything and just directly by applying to some jobs that I'm going to be detailing in this video? Well, it's as easy as that. Yes, UK has opened up a new visa subscreen. This is a temporary visa, of course, but you can potentially stay in the UK for two years and then extend or change to another visa type and earn an average of 23,000 British pounds just by following this video. Now, you might ask me, what is this role, right? The role is related to religious work and the visa itself is called religious work visa. Now, why is this important? Maybe you're not interested and you're like, hey, I'm clicking this video away. But listen up, this may be an easier route to the UK than other routes, all right? Look, you have to take up a role over here which is essentially non-pastoral. So you don't really have to be a pastor. You don't really have to be the person who is, you know, in charge of things. You can be a religious worker in many other fields. And this is true for many, many religions, not just Christianity. You can be a religious worker in many other religions. You could be one in Buddhism. You could be one in, you know, Hindus. You could be one in Muslims anything really works but what is the eligibility here let's talk about that so as i mentioned you don't need to worry about the ielts you do not need to take an english language test how beautiful is that right there's no minimum scores what you do need however is number one a visa sponsorship that means you should have a job offer given to you with a visa sponsorship and don't worry about that i'm going to be showing you some links at the end of this video that are specially curated for you right now and I'll even show you how to find those links let's say if you're watching this video two months three months down the line how to find relevant jobs at this time that are valid for your profile at this moment all right or for these jobs at this moment so we're going to go over that the next thing that you need to show as a part of your eligibility is 1270 British pounds to show the British government that you can support yourself during your stay over there if you have dependents, a spouse, any children that you want to basically accompany you on this trip uh, in the UK, it's possible for them to come, but you will have to show additional expenses for them. And I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. And finally, you must be 18 years or older to pursue this endeavor. Now, I told you that there will be some other expenses. So here they are. First is the health surcharge of somewhere around 624 pounds. This is a per person per annum surcharge. So you'll be paying that for yourself. If you have a wife accompanying you, you'll be paying it for her. If you have children accompanying you, you'll be paying it for them. All right, so this is something that you have to take into account as well. On top of that, there's an application fee for this visa type, which is 298 pounds. And that's something, again, you may have to bear. In most cases, that's possible that you know it will be deducted from your salary because generally it's not advisable to pay for your own visa. So your company may be sponsoring you. But at the end of the day, this is an expense that you need to know about. So there's a variety of websites where you can actually find a lot of jobs related to religious workers. You can look on Indeed, you can look on Jora, for instance, this posting that I'm showing you right now is the Jora one that I found for you currently relevant, currently accepting applications and sponsoring your visa. I've actually verified that as well. There's two more jobs over here that I've selected directly from the NHS website of the UK directly. And you can verify that these are also sponsoring your visa. And finally, the fourth link you'll find in my description will be one which is of the NHS website with the filters applied so that you can just scroll down and see which are the relevant positions available to you right now. Some of these positions are offering as good as 50,000 pounds per annum, as you can see, to actually work in the UK. And these are also sponsoring your visas. And this is essentially a link that will be evergreen. So you take a look at this maybe even three, four months later, five months later, a year later, that's fine because you will find the most relevant job at that point in time that will be sponsoring your visas. Finally, before I end this video, hold on. There are some additional perks that I want you to know. All the links are going to be in the description. You don't need to worry, but the perks are very important here. So what can you do on this visa type, all right? Number one, you can actually study on this visa type. So you could be working in essentially, you know, let's say a church. And at the same point in time, you can also be studying. You remember that an ATAS certificate may be required for this. The other thing you can do, of course, is work for your job, right? You're going there to work. 
But on top of that, you can also work a second job if you want. And if you're working a second job, this can be part time with up to 20 hours per week. And this should be at the same level as the first job itself. On top of that, if let's say a job is available, which is on the skilled worker shortage occupations list, then you can also work that job for 20 hours per week, which is again going to be your second job in this case. So you can make a little bit of an extra money or extra income on the side. Now remember, you can also only do this up to 20 hours per week. So it's only part time. And finally, of course, the perk, you can always bring your dependents, your spouse, your children with you on this visa type. So that's all about the religious worker visa. I hope that this helps. This is a great way to actually move to the UK and actually start a new life there. There's a lot of ways that you can basically shift to other visa types, do a lot of different things, but this is just the beginning. I hope you understand that. If you need help with your processing, you can always reach out to me. My WhatsApp number is in the description. And for more such visas and more such discoveries coming your way, make sure that you follow me on Instagram or connect with me on WhatsApp so that I can keep you updated about these visas, amazing opportunities. And of course, my YouTube channel is going to be a hub for that as well. Thank you so much for watching this one. Goodbye and take care until next time.